Hello and welcome to match 4 of Nahiri Control in Modern. We're on the play, and this hand looks... Okay. If one of these was a fetch land, it'd be better. I'm tempted to keep it. I'm not sure if I will. I'm gonna mulligan, just to be safe. This hand is a lot better. We have a lot more, we have this, about the same amount of interaction, but our mana sources are much more reliable. So I'm gonna keep our opponent also mold to six, which is good. So I'm gonna put, and I'm also gonna put that Serum Visions on top. So because we have that Serum Visions on top, I'm gonna just play the Wandering Fumeral tapped and pass the turn. I think the worst case scenario for a hand like this would be land burn spell. Be mountain lightning bolt or lava spike. Polluted delta for our opponent. Watery grave, untapped, inquisition. So Grixis control maybe, maybe fairies. They're probably going to take either the Spell Snare or the Remand. It'd be nice if they took the Serum Visions. And they take the Remand, as we expected. So we're going to play and crack the Arid Mesa. Going to get a Hollowed Fountain, Shock in, and Serum Visions. So we drew a cryptic, and then we have mountain cryptic on top. So let's say our opponent does nothing next turn. And we leave this the way it is. We have the mana to cryptic command. And we have two of them. But is that what... Without knowing specifically what we're up against, I'm not sure that that's good. So I'm going to bottom both. I'm just going to pass and hold up this spell snare that I know that he knows that we have. There's a good to fair chance he's just going to Inquisition or Thoughtseize again. Or maybe even main deck duress. Alright, so Bloodstained Mire. So chances are this is a Grixis Delver build. Or a Grixis Control build. Opponent fetches. Steve Vets. Untapped. Thought Scour, targeting our opponent. He milled two islands. And here comes another Inquisition, or a turn two Tassiger. Or a Gurmeg Angler, they do have enough for a Gurmeg. Tassiger it is. So this must be the control version. Ooh. That is a bad draw. That is a really bad draw. I don't know if we're going to be able to win this game. Opponent attacks. We're... Gonna take some beats. We're gonna go to 12. Best case scenario, we draw a path here. And we back it up with a spell snare. So we drew the path, and I think we just do it now, just to get it out of the way. I don't like ramping them, because they get to untap with that new basic. 
but I don't want them to get the opportunity to untap and activate Tasker or just draw another counter spell to deal with our spell snare. So since they know that we have a chance, they might not. Okay, looks like they're going to do it, but I was going to say they might not run a counter spell straight into it. But it looks like they're going to try to fight over it anyway. We could have paid for it, but I'm just going to bluff that we have something else and choose to spell snare. So they got a basic mountain, and I don't know what they can do for this point. They can start attacking with tar pit. So they serum visions. Top top for our opponent. So we drew Nahiri. I'm just going to pass. I'm just going to pass, and I'm going to hold up Cryptic and plan on Lighthousing. Given that they topped both cards and they have three mana up, I'm not confident in our prospects of, of Nahiri resolving. And we need Nahiri to resolve. So at the end step, I have six, but they thought scoured at my end step. That's a cool blue lightning bolt that they got there. Inquisition. I'm going to let that happen. They can't touch anything. I love when MTGO glitches like that. It's funny. So they're just going to pass. They, they're probably going to do something in response to this lighthouse activation. Nothing we can do about that. If they, like, Colgon's command, for instance, to deal two and make us pitch a card, we'll just pitch Emrakul. Either way, we're getting rid of Emrakul. Shuffle it back in. And we drew a bolt. Again, I'm just going to pass. He deliberately... He's, I don't trust him. I need this Nahiri to resolve, and I don't trust being tapped out. I We don't have enough resources to... Make sure my auto yields are off, because he's about to do something. I don't trust what he's doing. So, he's Colgon's commanding to return Snapcaster to his hand and make us discard. I'm going to counter draw. It seems like bait, but I'm I don't want him to start looping Snapcaster. So we drew Path, which is great. Because we have a flooded strand to get our sacred foundry, and then we have access to bolt and path. So actually because of that, if we don't use the path this turn, I'm a lot more confident. Oh no. Yep. So he's gonna take the path. I don't see him taking the bolt. Um unless he's gonna play a Delver. Yep, and the reason I say he would take the bolt if he was going to play Delver is because either way, the Delver is going to die. Unless he has counter magic naturally, but at least that way he gets a land out of it. Fortunately, the bolt does kill Creepy Tar Pit, so we got that going for us. For us. He can't activate the Tar Pit while we have that bolt. So our opponent cracks the fetch. Blood Crypt, untapped. What do they have? Oh, Snapcaster, Colgon's command. I want to bolt in response, but I can't because we have to discard the Nahiri otherwise. So I have to leave that Snapcaster alone, and I don't like that at all. Um, yep. Uh, in response, I am going to crack this fetch land. So now they're going to start looping Snapcasters. Going 
going to discard the bolt. Do they have another Colgan's command? No. <clears throat> but they did return a Snapcaster Mage to their hand. Fortunately, we path that Tassiger, so they can't play that. Oh, and we drew another path. That's just great. Uh, so we are going to... Because of the path that we drew, we're just going to play Nahiri. Alright, let's see what's in their yard. So they have counter spells in their yard. So that kind of leads me to want to path now. They might just path Bolt Nahiri next turn. And that's fine. There's nothing we can do about it. Um, but we are just going to... Oh, they, they might path... Uh, do they have enough mana? Cost three, so I'm thinking they might path bull to activate tar pit, but they don't have enough mana. They didn't find another basic. So unless they drew a land here, they're not going to be killing the Hiri. Activate tar pit, swing for three, at me or Hiri. That's the question. If he goes at me, he could probably kill me if he really tried. If he didn't attack the Hiri, what he could do, since I have no cards in my hand, he could hit me down to 8, then s flash in Snapcaster Mage, bolt me, and then he attacks for 5. So he has the ability to kill me, whether he sees it or not, is another question. And that was his opportunity to do it. Now we have a piece of permission. I'm not saying that this mana leak is going to stop him, as he has tons of mana. But it is something. So is he going to attack me or Nahiri? Probably Nahiri again, because he's already committed. Yep. He's going to hit Nahiri down to two. Which, I mean, it's not killing Nahiri. Nahiri's going to go to 4. It's going to be a little bit. It's going to be at least 2 more turns before Nahiri just dies. Unless he bolts. But while Nahiri is living, we're just accruing card advantage. I am going to pitch one of these mana leaks to see if I can find an answer for that tar pit. We did. We found Snapcaster Mage. And we have mana leak backup. So we're in a good position. Nahiri's out of bolt range. Which is... All we can really ask for at this point. So we're going to let him fire up the tar pit. Going to let him go attacking. And then I'm going to flash in Snapcaster and Path. And back up mana, back it up with Mana Leak. Snapcaster Mage. Target Path. The reason I'm doing Path over Bolt is because I want it. I, he can't delve it if it's exiled, and he didn't get another basic, so I think he's out, which is strange, because normally decks like this also run basic islands. I run two, personally, in my Grixis Delver deck. So we're going to Mana Leak to get rid of the Remand. Unless he has Pact of Negation, that's going to resolve. Opponent fails to find. We untap. We drew Snapcaster, which is just what we wanted to hit. Because we have access to another path, uh, two leaks, a bolt, and a cryptic. We don't have enough mana for cryptic, but it's there, and that's what's important. We draw a mana. Chances are I might actually just play it so that way I can cryptic. But I'm not sure. That it'll come to that. So Dark Slick Shore is tapped. So Jace runs Prodigy. Yeah, that, that can happen. It doesn't do anything right now. Um, I think I'm going to Snapcaster in response, or at his end step, and try to path. Or, I can bolt, and I can bolt him and attack for four and put him to two. 
and then attack with the Fumarol and both Snapcasters. Well, that all depends on if this Snapcaster resolves, which I'm sure I'm going to play. So, chances are, this is going to get countered. Opponent deciding on whether or not he wants to counter, I think. He's probably going to wait to see what I target. Uh, select Bolt. And I'm going to Bolt him. I'm just going to go for it. Two mana for our opponent. Snapcaster. What's he going to do? Bolt? Okay. He's going to bolt Nahiri in response. It's still glitched. I love when MTGO does that. It actually looks pretty cool. So Nahiri's a three. Alright, so now that they have a second blocker. What does that mean for us? So we attack with both Snapcasters and Fumarol. So that's an attack for 8, and he'll be at 6. So he has to block a Snapcaster and the Fumarol, otherwise he dies. So if he'll block the Fumarol with the Snapcaster, or Jace, it's hard to say. Because either way, they both die. And then one Snapcaster gets through, and that puts him to 4. Yeah, I think we do that. I think we just go for it. And if we draw a bolt, that's even better. So we're going to untap. Drew land. We'll, we'll loot that away. Electrolyze. Electrolyze is interesting. If, I'm going to use it as a backup. As a backup plan, I'm still going to go in with a Fumarol. Because it clears his board. And with Electrolyze, I could kill Snapcaster and ping him, or I could kill Jace. But doing it this way, all of his stuff has to die. And he can't do anything about Nihiri. And if he takes it, he's just dead. So I expect him to block here and here. Snapcaster, block Snapcaster, and Jace on Fumarol. So I'm going to flip Fumarol's power and toughness to kill the Jace. And our opponent takes two, trades with the Snapcaster, and we're going to pass. So I'm trying to think of some sort of sequence that our opponent just kills us. Bolt, snap, bolt doesn't even work. So they got a Serum Visions. Put a card on bottom and a card on top. Sure. So they have two cards in hand. What I'm going to do... Is all right, so depending on... All right, so we trigger planes. I'm going to cycle with Nahiri. And now I'm going to attack with Snapcaster and see what he does. If he uses a removal spell, fine. And if he doesn't, I'm going to Serum Visions and then go for the kill with Electrolyze. So he's going to try to terminate. I'm going to Electrolyze in response, see if I can draw a counter spell. And also put him to two. We'll see if this last card is a counterspell or not. Looks like it is. It's a remand. Which is pretty bad for him in this spot, actually. So our Snapcaster is down. But our Nahiri is at seven. Now, do I Serum Visions or do I bluff the counterspell? I think I Serum Visions. I don't think we're in a position that bluffing is good for us. I think we need to find an answer. 
Okay, we drew Bolt. And we had Vendillion click and Timely reinforcements on top. And I'm going to bottom the Timely top to click because all of those things are threats. We have five damage in our hand. So not even an Inquisition stops us from killing him with one of these two. Um, I'm, what I'm hoping he did is he topped some threat or a creature. Doesn't look like he did, given he's just passing. But we have a click in our hand now. And Nahiri is at 9. So he has to deal with Nahiri, otherwise he's dead. I'm going to click on his draw step. He's going to respond in some way. And when he's vulnerable, I'm going to bolt him. And if he does something on his end step, then I might respond. Lightning bolts. That's another one that's glitched. I don't, why are all of his like that? That's weird. I'm going to go for it. I'm just going to go for the kill. If he has the counter spell, he has the counter spell. But I don't see him letting this electrolyze resolves if he has a counter spell, especially when he's at four. All right, let's see if we got it. He's got the counter spell. Okay, that's fine. Snap. Or mana leak. Yep, just gonna. Uh, F6, let it all happen. Let him go through the motions. Um, I mean, it's unfortunate that his last card was Snapcaster Mage, but I still think that we are okay. We have the click, and we have a remand, and we have a Nahiri that's going to go to 6. But 6 isn't dead. We also have the Desolate Lighthouse to loot if we need to. I am going to loot now and get rid of this second remand because we don't have enough mana to cast it. And we drew a path, so now I'm going to go back to the original plan of just clicking on his draw step. I like that he left the Snapcaster back because of the fumeral. Let's tap correctly. Make sure we leave some white open and some blue open. So, alright, and our opponent scoops it up. Now on to game two. Bring it in, dispel, bring it in, negate. Wondering about rest in peace. I think Crumble to Dust is also an option. The thing that makes Crumble to Dust so good against Tron, like black or green, red Tron, and Jund, is that they can't stop it. They can't stop it from happening. This It's not the same with... Grixis control. They have counter spells. They have plenty of counter spells. And because of that, I'm also going to bring in counter flux. I'm going to cut timelies, bring in another click, and bring in geist. But so the the creeping tar pit beatdowns are something that I am definitely intimidated by. That said, we need a way to stop it. Gonna cut in a Hiri. I, I'll bring in one Crumble, and I'll bring in one Rest in Peace. No, I'm gonna bring in two. They require their graveyard. They're a Delve deck. If we can get down a Rest in Peace on turn two, we'll be so far ahead. I think I cut a Bolt. Maybe two. Cut a Snap. I'll cut another Nahiri. Run it back like that. See what we can do. And now while our opponent opponent is sideboarding, I think they're going to bring in more counter spells. I think they're going to bring in maybe engineer. Uh, I don't see why they bring in engineered explosives. Um, based on what I know about Grixis Delve decks, they have a lot of removal and counter spells in their sideboards. That's probably all we're gonna. That's probably all this game is going to be just a big counter war. So, I don't know. It's it's going to be tough. Either we are going to draw perfectly and 
fall behind or we're going to draw poorly and then come ahead. Because that's what the last game was. We started off really slow and poorly, and I thought that they were going to take us. But then we started to come back, and we ended up getting into the driver's seat. But I'm not sure what the case is going to be with the sideboard, given that we don't know what they're going to have. All right, so this hand, it's a similar hand. This seems to be a trend with uh, my hands in game two. I get the sideboard cards that I want, specifically rest in peace, but the rest of my hand is garbage. This hand actually isn't terrible, but if this this ghost quarter should be a fetch, and it would be a lot better. I am going to keep it, because we're Inquisition proof in terms of our rest in peace. He's probably going to take the Geist, or the Remand, or the Spell Snare, if he Inquisitions us. But... This second rest in peace is going to help prevent the turn 2 tasker. So, Polluted Delta crack immediately. I'm expecting to see Watery Grave shocked in Inquisition of Kozilek. Serum Visions. Alright, that's a lot better for us. And our opponent put a card on top and a card on top. Alright, so hopefully we draw land. Snapcaster Mage for us. And we're just going to pass, and I'm going to hold up Spell Snare. Maybe he's going to bring in Shadow of Doubt to stop us from searching for Emrakul. I've seen that happen before. Huh, shocked in Blood Crypt. Inquisition. Sure. Take a good look. So, yep, it was the Geist. That's fine. The Geist... We have another one. I'm not particularly worried about losing it. It wasn't why I kept the hand. It had something to do with it, but it wasn't the linchpin of what I was planning on doing. I wasn't planning on casting that for a while. Just because I assumed that we weren't going to hit our land drops on time. But right now we're just going to rest in peace, I think. Unless they have Spell Snare, in which case we'll lose one. But we have two of them, so it'll be fine. And here we are draw. So I'm just going to play Rest in Peace. Spell Snare. Yep. We got a Spell Snare out of their hand. We're, we're down to Rest in Peace, but we have two of them. We also have Spell Snare, Remand, and Snapcaster. Snapcaster, importantly, is still online. So we got that going. We need to draw a land here, though. Okay. Perfect. So we're just going to try again. See what they have to say. Rest in peace resolves. Graveyards are gone. And now we get to play fair magic. They're going to mill us. So we saw this before in a previous game. But given that it's starting a lot earlier on, I'm more concerned about them milling our Emrakul. So we might have to go on to the Snapcaster beatdown plan. Colgon's Command. Fulminator Mage. Yep, that's going to happen. Probably going to take down our Ghost Quarter. Nope, take down the Hollow Fountain. Surprising. I would have taken out the Ghost Quarter, I think, personally, because of the Creeping Tar Pit. We'll crack our fetch. We're going to get a Steam Vents here. So again, we need to draw land. If we, we need to hit land for the next two draws. At least. Remand. Alright, so we're in trouble now. If our opponent does stuff, then I'm concerned. I'm a lot more concerned than I was before. Um, but, on the upside, they can't play Tassiger. Tassiger is useless. Alright, so since they didn't do anything, I'm just going to flash in their Snapcaster and see if I can bait them into doing something. And if they don't do anything, then we have a 2-1. Lightning Bolt. Yep. We drew Geist. Another bad draw. On the upside, we have some of our win conditions in hand. But I'm not ecstatic about it. I am going to remand. The reason I'm choosing Remand over Snare, even though Snare puts it in the yard, and that's 
Ugh, supreme verdict. Even though Snare puts it in the yard and it's gone forever, it's because I wanted to draw a card and get a potentially bad card off the top or get a land into our hand. We just need to dig for lands. So again, they're going to Snapcaster. We're going to Spell Snare it. We drew Bolt. Worst case scenario... Yeah, Thought Scour targeting us. Let's see what they mill. Mendelian Click and Glacial Fortress. Well, I would have enjoyed that Glacial Fortress. They play their Snapcaster. Untaps. And we draw Negate. Just gonna try a Bolt. No, I'm not. I'm gonna take the Beats. And I'm gonna leave up Remand and Negate. Because that was total, based on the last 25, almost 25 minutes between the two of us that looked like Counterspell Mana. So I'm going to Bolt now. I'm bolting now because I don't care if this Bolt resolves. It did, which surprises me. But I didn't really care if the Bolt resolved because I would rather him get the Counter Magic out on that Bolt. As opposed to any of the stuff in our hand. Oh, another bad draw. Uh, so, there's not a lot we can do about it. Um, it is what it is. We have we have stuff. We have remand, we have negate, we have mana leak. The problem is our opponent has more mana than us and can just out-counter us. I can attempt to do stuff. Like, I'm probably going to... Even though I know I'll lose a counter war, I'm going to attempt to do it anyway just to get his hand empty. Crumble to dust. Alright, just going to pass again. Hope he taps out for something. Maybe plays a spell that I can remand. To hope to draw a card. But if we have to go move to discard, I'm going to discard the crumble. Oh, he milled two lands. He milled Secret Foundry and Colonnade. That's rough. That's really rough for us. Thoughtscour again targeting us. I'm going to attempt to remand just to get a spell out of his hand and to get us under hand size. Because I... Oh, he remands himself. All right. Oh, he remanded his thought scour so that way we couldn't draw a card. This guy's this guy's really cutting us off. Come on, fetch land. So it's, it's a card. I'm gonna be careful with my scries. I'm gonna leave them both on top. Because he's gonna mill us. And those are non land cards. So if he thought scours us, he's going to mill two cards that we don't care about having, especially the uh, counterflux, because we won't be able to cast it. Yep. We mill counterflux and snapcaster mage. Is that all of his thought scours? He's used... One, two, three, four. All right, so we don't need to worry about him milling Emrakul anymore. We still need to worry about drawing Emrakul, but we don't need to worry about milling it. Serum Visions for us. I can see this getting countered. I would counter it. Mana Leak? Yep. So, I mean, it's kind of comes to the argument which is better, Mana Screw or Mana Flood. So far, Screw seems pretty abysmal. Getting in with the Tar Pit. So, I could Ghost Quarter, but I'm not, because we need the mana. And we have enough life that we can take a couple of Tar Pit hits and be comfortably out of range. And now he doesn't have... Uh, Oh, man, we got there. We got there, we got there, we got there. We're going to have to discard a card, but we have mana on top. Do 
Do it like that. And I think we just discard Supreme Verdict. Because that we're definitely not casting anytime soon. And besides, he's not... Unless he hard casts Tassiger for 6, which I don't see him doing. Oh, this is going to be brutal. Unless he hard casts Tassiger for 6, I'm not worried about casting Supreme Verdict anytime soon. We also have a path, which he's probably going to take, to be fair. Um, but we have answers. And we're finally drawing lands. So... Um, I'm not too afraid. So he got rid of our bolt. It's weird that he failed to find before with those paths. Because I see two islands right there. That's very strange to me. Unless he sighted them in. Which I guess is possible. But it's, it's still really strange. A follow-up Inquisition... I'm going to negate because I don't want him taking that path. And if he has another hand hate spell, he has another hand hate spell. Full oh, fulminator is disgusting. Ugh. He's doing real good at bottlenecking our mana. Fortunately, we have another one on top. And I'm going to crack it right away. I'm going to get a white source. I'm going to play this Geist. So let's look at what mana we have left in our deck. We have one Fumeral left. We have a Desolate Lighthouse. We have three Flooded Strand, a Sulphur Falls, a Colonnade, two Aaron Mesas, a Steam Vents, a Plains, and a Mountain. So I'm just hoping this Geist can carry me all the way to victory. I don't. I didn't see Liliana of the Veil. Vale. So I'm hoping that he doesn't have anything to make us sack creatures. Hopefully we draw a land, so that way we can crumble to dust the tar pit. I would rather crumble, crumble it than path it, so we can't get mana out of it, and we can get all the tar pits out of the way. Even if we played another tar pit, I'd still do it. So he's going to get in for 3, which is fine. going to put us to 8. Nothing we can do, we're tapped out, so... Uh, bolt us? Yep, we're at 5. I'm a lot more... Ooh, this is tempting. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> wow! Uh, so, looks like Rest in Peace was more detrimental than I even could have expected. Tasker, 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 Gurmag, Kolagon's Command... He can Kolagon's command to deal 2 damage and make us discard. Put us to 2 and then hope to draw. Counter Squall kills us. This kills us. Another Kolagon's command kills us. But that's it. So he has to hope to draw Counter Spell or Counter Squall, pardon me, or Kolagon's command if he wants to kill us. Unfortunately, we cited out timely reinforcements, but I'm hoping that we're just fast enough to get past it. Just making sure not to click through my combat step because we need to hit as many combat steps between now and when he draws Colgon's command number two or counter squall. I don't see why he. Oh, so he hit Dark Slick, Dark Slick Shores, which is still not enough mana to cast Tasker or Gurmag Angler. So here comes the Colgon's command. I think I'm going to pitch the path. We don't need it. Dispel. I think I'm just gonna go on the Geist beatdown plan and not even cast the Nahiri. Because tapping out is terrifying. So we know that he only he has three Tassigers and a Gurmag Angler in his hand. We need to worry about two spells in his deck. 
and these deal with both of them. This one more efficiently than Mana Leak. But Counter Squall, importantly, needs us to cast a spell for it to deal damage to us. He needs to counter something of ours. So if we just don't cast spells, he doesn't have the opportunity. It needs to be Colgon's command if we cast nothing. And we hit a land. I don't know if we can fetch for anything with that, but it's a good bluff. And if nothing else, there's another Steam Vents in the deck and we can go out like a man. And we attack for four, or six. Let's see if it gets there. And we got there. Oh, that, that was hard fought. That was really tough. Oh, and he had the counter squall. He had the counter squall. That is terrifying. So, we won the match. He drew one of the three cards that could kill us, and if we had played the Nahiri, we would have died. Whew, that was nerve-wracking. Alright, well, thank you for tuning in for either one or all four of my matches with Nahiri Control in Modern. I'll probably be posting more, as this is one of the only upper-tier decks that I have that I know is... Good enough to run with the big boys. I have a couple of other decks that I would like to play in Modern, like a Jeskai Delver deck and several other decks that I will be posting eventually. But I'm going to be posting Popper next week. Uh, or perhaps later into this week, maybe this weekend. Uh, but thank you for joining me, and have a wonderful weekend, and a won wonderful rest of the week, and a wonderful weekend, and just a wonderful life. I'm just reeling over this counter squall. Uh, still. Uh, thank you, and have a good night.